Shalom, Mishkael, Islam. Peace to the gods. Peace to the goddess. Peace be upon you, my sons. Peace be upon you, my daughters. I reserve all my rights without request. Hello, 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 how are you? Sending you positive energy, positive vibrations. Weekly update. Eating some peanuts. <clears throat> so, the past week, we have been to the courthouse a couple of times. And <clears throat> basically, the people at the Norwalk courthouse, um, have done just about everything they could to violate due process. Okay. Previous video I showed you where I submitted evidence via my a notary certificate of dishonor which is evidence that I sent a payment for the rent and it was dishonor and the pro tem judge on the bench basically ignored it prima facie evidence was ignored in the Norwalk Courthouse, allowing the judgment debtor to <laughs> obtain a default judgment against me. <clears throat> now, of course, I'm not worried about this at this point because he owes me 90000 regardless. <clears throat> right now I'm in the process of collecting the arbitration award that I read online to you <clears throat> and that should be collected in a, a few few weeks and I decided since I'm being violated in the Norwalk Courthouse I will use the arbitration award that I read to you online <clears throat> I'll use the, the money from that to um, file a complaint against the clerks of the court and, and like for example last week I filed a motion for a request for facts of findings and conclusions of law from the pro tem attorney acting as a judge who denied my motion to compel arbitration based on the evidence prima facie evidence that the opposing party had no energy to even speak in court yet alone had my motion denied so I took my my judgment, my administrative judgment, and I filed a civil case 
to have the abstract of judgment entered. Now, the rules say that the clerk can issue the abstract of judgment, but today the clerk refused. So now I have a court date next month. So I'll keep you updated. Basically, I would encourage everyone to really take it serious. The fact that even though these people are claiming that their statutory law is the law of the land, they're actually using our common law. When they get you in default for not responding to a traffic ticket after 72 hours, that's the fault. That's the same thing. So they're using our common law against us because many of us are very ignorant. And not all of us, not all of us are ignorant on purpose. But ignorance of the law is no excuse. So not only are they using the common law against us. They're creating statutory laws to prevent us from using the common law against them. Now how, how absurd is that? In the past two weeks, guys and gals, I've spoken to almost 200 lawyers. Out of almost 200 lawyers, I would say there were two who knew what I was talking about. Two lawyers out of 200. Now, granted, there may have been some other lawyers in that 200 that knew what I was talking about, and for whatever reason, just didn't want to speak to me. So, if you're watching this, and you have yet to exhaust your administrative remedy, what I would encourage you is to be prepared for the opponent to try to do something illegal like sue you. You need to be prepared for that. And <clears throat> A good way is based on what I'm learning and going through right now. One way I, I, I'd rather say is to have the arbitration award already. Get the arbitration award as soon as you get the um, the certificate of non-response, the fault judgment. Go ahead and take them into arbitration. Now, if you can't afford an arbitration hearing, then there is a process to having a judgment that was made via a notary recognized in California court. And I've been in the court this week trying to get answers on that process and everyone acts like they don't know what the hell is going on. So, all right. It's really sad. It's really sad. Because if anyone 
with any sense of honor would take a close look you would see that many of the problems that exist in our country are stemming from these people that are usurping legislation that are usurping the process that are usurping the courts that are usurping our land and committing genocide my entire channel was started so that I could get evidence of war crimes and file complaints in the proper venues and that is what I'm going to continue to do anyone who's leaving comments your comments are worthless your whole life existence is worthless because you want people to believe a lie and obviously you want to try and scare people into believing your lie with your threats and with your ignorant remarks you people are meaningless you're hopeless you have no energy to exchange or do battle with those of us who are vibrating higher and higher so the battle continues as you can see this guy filed an eviction from this hotel room that I used a negotiable instrument to tender payment for two years worth of rent right so right now if I go to the front desk and get a printout of our statement it's gonna say almost ten thousand dollars right which shows that he accepted my money order according to the maximum of law acceptance is agreement but one thing about domesticating the evidence that I have or rather having that evidence recognized in the Superior Court here in Los Angeles uh, Los Angeles County going to require some diligence and, and digging in because the process is being hidden from the public okay I notice other states they openly put the forms online that you need for a process like this the California is hiding the forms and when I go to the clerk's desk when I go to the window and ask for the correct forms everyone plays stupid they don't know what form you're talking about it's very sad and unless all of us become competent enough to start suing them as much as they sue us it's going to get worse it's not going to help for one person like me to figure it all out and then go on my way 
They're just going to keep doing it because everyone else is still ignorant of the truth. So, anyways, the eviction was filed July 15th. Here it is, September, September uh, 5th, so, not only that, somehow, this guy's lawyer gets a summary judgment against me, and they put in the court a declaration saying that they served me the summary motion but it was peculiar because the declaration was not signed by a process server it was signed by the front desk clerk of the hotel so technically I should be able to do a motion to set aside a judgment based on that I was never served, and they're claiming they served me, but that's not a process server. Thankfully, these past nine months, I have, we have a little, little savings, and I was, I, I don't want to use it to pay for a lawyer for this when I can just use it to pay the lawyer to collect my 90000 once I have an arbitration hearing for this matter. And um, so I'm probably going to probably going to find somewhere find somewhere else and deal with this from somewhere else and then move on <clears throat> because frankly we've already run the, won the case whether he gets whether he gets me evicted or not he still owes me 90000 and the, and the arbitration hearing is coming up at the end of the month for the 90000 to be awarded. So I'll just wait. And if you would like your administrative process performed, you can email me for a consultation. Okay. Whoever it is you want to sue, we'll sue them. Take them into arbitration, and then have the attorney collect. Now, this is not going to be a service that I offer, but if you email me and you need consultation, then. I'll try to make myself available for you. Otherwise, just watch and learn. Everything is right in front of you. To the right of you, to the left of you, above you and beneath you. You just listen and remember. Pay attention to the details. You'll figure this out for yourself. Because it's really not that hard. The only thing hard is that we have an army, okay? They're called Europeans. And they're here in our country, on our land, with the desire to take it over and to terminate us from the land, to remove us from our land. Now, you may not believe that, you may not, you may not think that's the truth, but just keep living. And you'll see for yourself. So. 
I'm gonna make this short. In a few weeks, we'll see the selection of the uh, arbitration award for twenty-seven thousand, and then I'll use that to collect some other arbitration awards. I'll also use that to sue this guy for malicious prosecution for swearing under oath falsely, that's perjury, for intentional infliction of emotional distress, for fraud. So yeah, he's going to owe me more than 90,000 bucks. So, court date is October 2nd, but I'll have the arbitration award before then, and I'll just send the lawyer in there to confirm the arbitration award, unless I figure out how to do it myself before then. So, Peace and love. I hope these videos are encouraging to you. I hope they show you that it doesn't matter if you're at the bottom of the barrel, sleeping outside, homeless, you can always rise up. Find a way to make one. Study, you read, you search after the information that's already out here, that's been here for hundreds, if not thousands of years. And you learn to use it and you learn to master it. Or else, someone else will always be your master. Someone else will always be using you and taking advantage of you. So, this is my documentary. We'll continue it. If you haven't guessed by now, this is premeditated. And a lot of thought has gone into everything ahead of time. I have another YouTube page. I've had for about five years now where I talk about cryptocurrencies and trading the equities markets. And last year, the, these policemen, they were pulling me over and stealing my car, trying to steal my Bitcoins. That's what I didn't tell y'all. I knew what was going on. But we'll talk about that much later. One day, while I'm sitting on my yacht, <clears throat> so I adore you, ye who are honorable, ye who seek justice, ye who reflect peace and love, ye who honor and devote thyself to truth. Ye whose faith is a knowing. And I encourage you to encourage someone else to vibrate higher, to administrate your public officials, and to enforce the common law. Shalom Israim. Life forever. <laughs>